Kappa, one of the most famous mythical creatures in Japanese folklore, is often described as a dwarf-like creature with green skin and a dish on its head containing water, symbolizing its source of power. Living primarily in rivers and ponds, Kappa is known for both its hospitable nature and the danger it poses to humans, especially children. According to legend, to protect oneself from Kappa, people often carry cucumbers engraved with their names, as cucumbers are this creature's favorite food. A prominent legend involving Kappa relates to a local merchant named Kihachi. Once while crossing a river, he was attacked by a Kappa. Remembering old advice, Kihachi bowed deeply, showing respect. Instinctively, the Kappa also bowed back, causing the water in its dish to spill out, thereby losing its strength. Kihachi seized this opportunity to propose a peace treaty, offering to help the Kappa regain its water. Since then, the Kappa promised never to harm the villagers and even help them irrigate their fields. This story not only illustrates the complex nature of Kappa but also reflects the values of respect and empathy in Japanese culture. Tengu is a mystical creature full of power and mystery in Japanese folklore, often depicted with wings and distinctive long noses. They dwell hidden in dense forests and on high mountain peaks, considered protectors of nature and challengers of the moral code of samurai and monks. Tengu come in two common forms, Karasu Tengu, with the head of a crow, and Yamabushi Tengu, resembling a monk with a long beak. One of the famous legends about Tengu revolves around Minamoto no Yashitsu, a legendary samurai general in Japan. When he was young, Yashitsun was taught combat and military strategy by a Tengu, especially the supreme swordsmanship skills. This Tengu, often referred to as Sajobo, is the king of the Tengu, residing on Mount Karama. The education Yashitsun received from Sajobo helped him become one of the greatest samurai in Japanese history, capable of winning battles against greater odds. This legend not only illustrates the strength and authority of Tengu but also demonstrates the connection between these creatures and Japanese martial culture. Tengu, as teachers and guardians, have become symbols of wisdom, strength, and courage, emphasizing the value of learning and continuous striving in Japanese culture. Kitsune, or fox spirits, are among the most sacred and complex creatures in Japanese folklore. Known for their shape-shifting abilities and trickery, Kitsune embody both sides of the coin, they are both symbols of good fortune and embodiments of mischief. These foxes are said to live for hundreds of years, and their magical powers increase with age. Particularly, Kitsune are considered messengers of Inari, the god of rice and prosperity, often appearing in Inari shrines throughout Japan. One of the most famous legends about Kitsune revolves around Tamamonome, a nine-tailed fox with the ability to transform into an extraordinarily beautiful and intelligent woman. She became one of the emperor's favorite consorts. But her secret malevolent nature was eventually discovered, Tamamonome was actually a fox spirit plotting to destroy the dynasty. It is said that, after a fierce battle, Tamamonome was vanquished and turned into a stone, marking her eternal demise. The story of Tamamonome reflects the Japanese belief in the power of the divine and sometimes the danger of Kitsune. It emphasizes the ability of Kitsune to influence human destiny while also serving as a reminder of the balance between trust and caution. In Japanese culture, Kitsune continue to be symbols of wisdom, transformation, and mystery, evoking curiosity and reverence in those who hear about them. Oni, often depicted as giant ogres with colored skin and horns on their heads, are among the most widely known mystical creatures in Japanese folklore. With extraordinary strength and ferocious personalities, Oni often appear in stories as troublemakers and adversaries of heroes. Their image has become a symbol of wickedness and the challenges one must overcome in many traditional tales. One famous legend about Oni is the story of Shuten Doji, an Oni believed to have once been a monk but, straying from the path of enlightenment, 
transformed into a bloodthirsty Oni. Shuten Doji led a band of Oni on Mount Oi and kidnapped many young women from the capital for sacrificial offerings. Minamoto no Yorimitsu, a legendary samurai, and his followers devised a plan to rescue the captives and ultimately defeated Shuten Doji, restoring peace to the capital. The tale of Shuten Doji not only reflects the brutal nature and unpredictable strength of Oni but also showcases the resilience and courage of those who confront them. Moreover, it also presents a more nuanced view of Oni, not merely as cruel creatures but as beings with stories and origins worthy of contemplation. Oni continue to play a significant role in Japanese culture, from festivals to art and literature, serving as symbols of supernatural forces that humans must overcome to achieve greater maturity and deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them. Tanuki, known in Japanese culture as a mystical creature with extraordinary shape-shifting abilities, is often depicted as a raccoon dog closely resembling a wolf or raccoon. Renowned for their playful and mischievous nature, Tanuki frequently appear in folklore as symbols of luck and abundance. Particularly, they are known for their ability to use their large belly to produce magical sounds, as well as their remarkable shape-shifting abilities to deceive humans or other creatures. One of the famous tales about Tanuki involves a mischievous one who transformed into a monk to trick villagers, gathering food and sake. However, during a feast, the Tanuki couldn't contain itself and reverted to its true form while drunk. Although the villagers initially felt betrayed, they eventually forgave the Tanuki due to its humorous and harmless nature. Furthermore, the Tanuki later protected the village from a natural disaster, proving that despite its penchant for mischief, it also had a golden heart. This story not only reflects the charming and humorous aspect of Tanuki in Japanese folklore but also conveys a message of forgiveness and the importance of recognizing the inherent goodness in every creature. Tanuki is a symbol of optimism, reminding people of the value of joy and not taking life too seriously. Moreover, through the image of Tanuki, Japanese folklore also emphasizes the importance of balance between nature and humans, as well as accepting and respecting the diversity of the world around us. Nikomata, one of the most mysterious creatures in Japanese folklore, is often described as a cat with two tails. In folk culture, Nikomata is believed to be a domestic cat that has lived long enough to accumulate magical powers, transforming it into a supernatural creature with the ability to speak human language and summon the dead. Some stories even suggest that Nikomata has the ability to control fire. Known for its dual nature, Nikomata is both revered and feared, symbolizing the transition from the familiar to the supernatural. One famous legend about Nikomata tells of a noble family that once raised a beloved domestic cat. Over time, as the cat aged and transformed into a Nikomata, it began to exhibit magical abilities and cause disturbances within the family. In a terrifying event, the Nikomata summoned the spirits of the dead, causing panic and fear throughout the region. Ultimately, the family had to seek the help of a wizard to subdue and remove the Nikomata from their home, restoring peace. This story is not only a lesson in being cautious of what seems familiar and beloved but also reflects a deep-seated belief in Japanese culture regarding the power and potential of all creatures. Nikomata challenges the boundaries between the natural and supernatural worlds, while stimulating curiosity and fear about abilities beyond human understanding. In modern culture, Nikomata remains a popular character in art, literature, and entertainment, continuing to enrich Japan's treasure trove of folklore. Jorogumo, a yokai, supernatural creature, in Japanese folklore, whose name translates to, entangling bride spider is described as a mystical being capable of shape-shifting from a giant spider into a beautiful woman. Jorogumo uses her beauty to seduce and then capture or kill those who wander into her territory. 
The story of Jorogumo reflects the Japanese belief in the existence of supernatural forces that can hide their terrifying nature behind deceptive appearances. One of the famous legends about Jorogumo tells of a young samurai in the Kyushu Mountains who was seduced by a Jorogumo. She transformed into a beautiful woman and invited him into her house. However, as the samurai began to suspect the true nature of the woman, he decided to devise a plan to escape. Using his knowledge of yokai, the samurai set fire to the house, forcing Jorogumo to revert to her true form and flee. This story not only warns of the danger posed by allurements but also demonstrates the intelligence and courage of humans when facing supernatural forces. Jorogumo, like many other yokai in Japanese folklore, reflects the combination of beauty and danger, the natural and supernatural worlds, emphasizing that things are not always as they seem on the surface. Umibozu, one of the most mysterious sea creatures in Japanese folklore, is depicted as a gigantic underwater monster with a dark body and a large round head, often appearing on the murky sea during dark nights. Its name, Umibozu, meaning, Monk of the Sea, reflects the shape and mystery of this creature. Umibozu is believed to cause strong winds and tidal waves, sinking ships and swallowing unfortunate sailors who encounter it. One famous legend about Umibozu tells of a brave sailor facing the monster while at sea. When Umibozu appeared and threatened to capsize the ship, the sailor did not show fear but instead tried to communicate with the creature. Instead of using force, he prayed and promised to offer the most precious thing he had if Umibozu would leave the ship and the crew in peace. Surprisingly, Umibozu vanished, leaving behind a calm sea. This story conveys a message of mutual respect between humans and the natural world, as well as the power of faith and sacrifice. Umibozu, like many other mystical creatures in Japanese folklore, reflects a belief in the strength and wisdom needed to deal with uncontrollable natural forces. The tale of Umibozu emphasizes the importance of seeking reconciliation with nature and demonstrates humility in the face of forces far beyond human strength. Rokuro Kubi is one of the most peculiar and mysterious creatures in Japanese folklore, possessing the ability to elongate their necks to terrifying lengths at night. During the day, Rokuro Kubi appear just like ordinary humans, living ordinary lives within the community without arousing any suspicion. However, when night falls, their necks can stretch out, allowing them to explore and even engage in mischievous or frightening behavior without being detected. One famous legend about Rokuro Kubi tells of a man who unknowingly married a Rokuro Kubi without knowing her secret. Every night, while the husband slept soundly, his wife would transform and use her elongated neck to wander through the village, playing pranks and instilling fear in the villagers. However, one night, the husband woke up and discovered his wife's dark secret. Instead of being afraid or angry, he chose to understand and accept her, loving her for her true self rather than her outward appearance. This story not only highlights the strange shape-shifting abilities of Rokuro Kubi but also conveys a message of acceptance and unconditional love. It shows that differences, no matter how horrifying the secret may be, can be accepted with understanding and affection. Yukiana, or, Snow Woman, is one of the most beloved and feared creatures in Japanese folklore. Described as a beautiful woman with skin as white as snow and long jet black hair, Yukiana appears on nights of heavy snowfall, often bringing death to those unfortunate enough to encounter her. Despite her delicate and frail appearance, Yukiana has the ability to control snow and ice, often depicted as having a cold and merciless heart. One of the most famous legends about Yukiana tells the story of a young man named Minakichi and an old man caught in a snowstorm while on their way home. Seeking refuge in a small hut, they encounter Yukiana, who kills the old man but spares Minakichi on the condition that he never speaks of what he has seen. Years later, Minakichi meets a woman named Yuki, marries her, and has children with her. One night, in a moment of intimacy, 
Minokichi recounts the story of Yukiana to his wife. To his surprise, Yuki reveals that she is Yukiana. However, out of love for him and their children, she decides not to harm him but disappears forever. This story not only showcases the power and mystery of Yukiana but also speaks to the strength of love and forgiveness. It also reflects the fear and reverence that the Japanese have for the forces of nature, especially during harsh winters. Yukiana is a complex character, embodying both the coldness and cruelty of winter while also possessing the capacity for deep love.